a distinction without a difference then. Okay, let, let me explain. Um, I don't want to get into an academic debate. No, all, no, no, all I was saying is no, that... It's, it's, it's important for us to ensure that we're not blurring conceptual lines. Yes. Because otherwise the debate won't progress. That's exactly And at least you and I, at least in this court and from the bar in this court, mm -hmm. we should be able to agree at least on first principles. Yes. Okay. Yes, and the first principle I'm, I'm merely asserting, really, is that... Of course, uh, uh, it would be foolhardy for me to say change of status is synonymous with change of person. That's not what I'm saying. Okay, I'm sorry, I saying. understood you to be saying that. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay. No, the, the, then, then we're... So, so when you said it's a distinction without a difference, did, did I misunderstand? Let me, can I explain myself? Yes, sure, yes, please. I think it would be better that way. So, I'm saying, the, uh, the only thing I'm saying really, which is quite simple, is that there are situations where a change of status and a change of person could overlap. And I gave the example, I'm not going to give it again, about when a, pers a, a child comes of age. That's all I'm saying. So I'm saying, at, if we are still talking at a conceptual level, let us at least accept that the two concepts are not mutually exclusive. That's really the only simple point I'm making. Now, if we move from that from that, it doesn't mean there are no situations where it's only a change of status and other situations where it's only a change of personality. The only point I'm making is that the two are not mutually exclusive. <clears throat> One. Now, let's come to the second point. <clears throat> the second point is this. In the, and I don't, let's leave the conceptual now and, and, and come to the point of this case. <clears throat> the confusion which often arises uh, in these cases, particularly to do with the public protector, arises from the following. The term, the public protector, and that was um, the, 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 the original applicant, appellant, if you like, has got two legal meanings. And when we say the public protector is the, is the applicant, the appellant, it automatically encompasses two legal concepts, right? The one is the institution called the public protector. The other is the person, the human being, called the public protector. So this is one of those cases which uh, accord with the example I just gave, where a person, um, <coughs> if you like, um, no, not graduates, transits from the one status to the other, right? Now that confusion is fairly common, but it can be easily uh, explained. If you go to section 181 of the Constitution, it lists the institutions that, uh, like the public protector, the auditor general, and so on and so on so-called chapter nine institutions, right? If you go to section 182 of the constitution, it then tells you what, is the, what are the, the powers and functions of that institution that has just been referred to in section 181. So that's the public protector qua institution. But if you move on and go to section 193 of the constitution, you will find that it's now a different, uh, um, that um, same uh, appellation now assumes a different meaning because it now at attaches to a human being, right? So we must just be able to separate between the institution and the human being. So section 193 of the Constitution says, how do we know that it's talking about a human being? It says that only in the instance of two of those nine, chapter nine institutions, the Auditor General and the Public Protector, those are the only institutions where what I've just said applies. So if you talk about the others, ICASA and, and, and so on, the institution is the institution. So if, if you say the commission or whatever, you, you, you mean the collective, not, not the human being. But in the case of the Auditor General and the Public Protector, it says 
the president shall appoint a man or woman to be the public protector or the auditor general. That means now we are now talking about a human being, man or woman, because an institution cannot be a man or woman. So that's the, 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 the real conceptual uh, uh, confusion that, that, that occurs. Now, so what, 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 which, which status has been lost? The, the status that has been lost is for uh, Ms. Mkwabani as the public protector um, uh, 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 in the Section 193 uh, sense. So all that has simply happened is that, in this case, just because of the removal, it could have been by a fraction of time, the removal is irrelevant to, to. But for whatever reason, she has, while the matter was, was proceeding, has um, stopped to occupy the office. And by the way, quite separately, if you go to Section 5 of the Public Protector Act, there's another, another person that is envisaged. That person is <music> has become a source of unnecessary confusion. And the office of the public protector is, in terms of Section 5 of the Public Protector Act, is, is, uh, is, a, is a, a touristic person. So you have three entities, if you like. You have the public protector as an institution, public protector as a person, and the office of the public protector as a touristic person. All those three can bring uh, 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 proceedings. So, so what is the legal consequence of her... Of, of her removal. Of, of, of her removal. Of yes. Not, of, of not um, occupying the No office longer occupying the office, the office. yes. Yes. It is this, uh, uh, Justice Mukos. It is that she, and that's why we have uh, the Rule 15 notice. It is that she no longer can um, say, I'm here, uh, uh, let's forget the third, in those two capacities that I mentioned. She can no longer say, I'm here in this capacity. As, which, as the, which capacity? That is the, the, the representing the institution, the, the institution, the section 181 of the constitution capacity. She, that she cannot, she, cannot, she cannot do. So that's the, that's the first legal consequence, uh, Justice uh, Nikon. And in which capacity had she litigated fraud? Well, that's a, a, another interesting question. That question was debated in... Um, uh, cases such as the Commissioner for SARS versus um, um, uh, Public Protector, 2023, Volume 1. Let me just put it. No, in this matter. No, no. I'm, 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 I'm not talking about historically. In this matter, in which capacity had she litigated throughout? In all the capacities. So, so I mean, just. When you say all the capacities, what, what okay, do you Okay, let me say both, so, so that I leave the other and, and And what are those two? I mean, just let me make a note of exactly okay. what it is. All How right. do you define it? Okay, let's go through it. Section 181 capacity, let's call it that, for, for shorthand. And what would that be? That's uh, the institution. And if one is litigating in that capacity, how would such a litigant be described on court papers for the purposes of having standing? Well, you would say, okay, both, both ways. If, if she was the applicant, uh, she would say that um, I'm, I'm, I'm here as, as the public protector appointed in terms of Section 181, I suppose. The, 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 that would be the simplest. Uh, in, in other words, what it would be saying is that, okay, let's say it was, a, it was a, a, an action. It will make it much easier if it's an action. If it's an action... The, whoever is suing here would say the defendant is the public protector. No, if she is suing someone, how would she describe it? It's her? the same. Okay, let's assume she is suing someone. If she was the plaintiff, she would say the plaintiff is the public protector um, at offices at such and such a place in Pretoria. Now, that would be in, in, the, in, the, in the one sense. In other words, if somebody damaged the property of the offices of the public protector, that's what the, the particulars of claim would read like. But if somebody stabbed her, right, 
Then she would say, uh, in the office, let's say, to, to make it easier, she would say, the plaintiff is either Busisi Mkwabane or the public protector, and now she would be referring to the 193 capacity. So that, that, that's, a, that's why, a very good why, question why because she, it makes it clear. Why, so would, you, she, you could why would she do that? I mean, let me, let, let's just use the analogy of judicial office, for example. Yes. If I'm involved in a motor vehicle collision mm -hmm. and I, I sustain injuries ah. and prosecute a claim against the road accident fund, for example, yes. I would be cited in my personal capacity. My occupation would be that of a judge. No. But 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 as the plaintiff in that matter, I would be cited in my personal capacity because those are personal injuries that I've sustained. Yes, no. that's that's why I put that uh, rider to say to make it easier to say if if that motor accident happened in your office inside your office, I don't know how that would happen in the parking lot. Yeah. Then I'm saying you you would you 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 could say yourself. Let's say you are now suing the Department of Justice because the accident happened just outside here. You'd say the plaintiff is XYZ, a, a, a judge or judge president or whatever the capacity of that person or in, of, the, of the High Court. But what I'm trying to explain is that when you do that, that's a completely different thing to if you were going to institute a, a, um, an institutional proceeding for the SCA as such. Okay? So, the, 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 the plaintiff... And, and, the and the nature of the proceedings that we are dealing with here, right. I mean, are these institutional proceedings? Is it intended in any way to vindicate rights or obligations that in 